Hey guys, Harry here. And we're back again, part four on the boundary wall again. Uh, still the same day, uh, dying still. I'm still feeling the effects of this day. Uh, it was particularly hot on this day, and I've I caught the sun on a couple of the a couple of the days. I was putting I put sun cream on on this day, which I should have had on every day to be quite honest. And I'm still feeling the effects now. I'm feeling a bit, you know, bits, a bit of sunstroke still. Even uh, days later, you can still feel the effects. And obviously grafting, you know, especially when you're on your own, you forget emptying two tubs worth of mortar, which I used today. I used two tubs, uh, scraped out, so I didn't leave any crap at the bottom of them. They're all clean, cleanly used. I used every every trial floor gob out of them tubs today, uh, on this day, should I say. And you forget having not having an extra pair of hands with you when you're solo, really, uh, you know, piles on the uh, fatigue. Also, uh, I had to load about an extra 100 bricks, uh, probably no, 100 to, uh, probably 200 actually, I had to load an extra 200 bricks, because I know my dad had 500 down here, uh, and I I hit about 750 on this day, so I thought, when I was loading out, I was thinking, fucking hell, I need more bricks. So I had to get an extra pack, and then I nicked some of the, I'd sort of double loaded in a sense, I nicked some off of the other stacks he'd done for the other little panel, uh, but it seems... Obviously, we're having to drop straight on the footing on the Monday. I'm not going to be on this for a good few days yet, because uh, by the side, by the sound of these footings, they're really deep. They're like two meter deep, some of them, uh, probably a bit, a bit deeper. So, phew, gonna be, I'm gonna not gonna be touching this wall till probably end of this week, end of this next week coming, or maybe the week after, depending. But uh, next week's my last full week at work, and then I'm working three days. Uh, after next week, so the week after that, and then, then I'm off on holiday for a couple of days. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be still. I won't be recording anything when it comes to sort of outside work sort of thing. I'm not. No, I think glamorous, but <laughs> I'm not going to make it look like so. Uh, but you know, I'm just going to stick to Brit Lane for now until I get some sort of GoPro and film interesting stuff. I'm not bothered about filming my life on YouTube. Uh, Brit Lane is sort of most of me. <laughs> Big half, about half of your life, probably more than that, because you must spend 40 hours a week at work. So I don't know how many hours in a week, in an actual week there is. So, you know, do the math. You're spending fucking loads of time at work anyway. So it's most of your life anyway that's on. If you make Brit Lane videos regularly, you're most of your life anyway. So anyway, I'm going to talk today. The topic of today, I've, I've been struggling to think of topics for the last few days. But um, I sort of have brainwaves just come on, come over me. Uh, just at random times and I think of a topic but today I'm going to talk about what you can expect to earn uh, as an apprentice from the first time you step on a building site until you're experienced within about six years so you know if you're doing it at university degree there's normally about six years of work probably more depending on how high and level you're going there's, but normally you're doing from going to college or or uh, sixth form as they call it uh, doing your A levels and stuff to finishing your university degree, it's around six to seven years, probably longer if you're doing PhDs and masters, stuff like that. But six years, sort of, if you've done any job for six years, you'll have gained a hell of a lot of experience and you'll be getting pretty good at it if you've, you know, tried to improve every day. So, when I first started as an apprentice, I was getting £150 a week and that was. Uh, that was what I was getting for my first year. But before I even uh, stepped foot on a building site for the first time as an apprentice, I'd already done three years previous at college. So I did a year while I was still in school. Uh, that was when I was 15 to 16. And then, and then, because I did, because when, you, when you're in high school in the UK, you used to be able to pick what sort of subjects you wanted to do for your last couple of years in, uh, in high school. But, I I opted to go to a you know to a technical college well not a technical college a, you know just a college uh, which was Durham Valley the one near where I was living at the time uh, and I went to Brick Lane College for I did a year out of them two years I did joinery and painting and decorating for the first year and then I did uh, Brick Lane for the second year and then when I went to college. I was I was sixteen, so I did my first year at Doncaster College, where I'm from, Doncaster. I did, I did a year there. I did level one diploma, and then when I was seventeen, I did level two diploma. 
and then it was just and then I got a, got a call up from when I was at uh, I, I put my CV out bear in mind ever since I was 16 and to confirm I was trying to get an apprenticeship but at the time it was just after the recession and everywhere was basically on go slow and they were just it was just just starting to ramp back up again the, you know uh, but it was basically building building trade was dead for quite a about six months and then after those so after those two years had passed at college towards the end of my second year my, my level two diploma I got an apprenticeship uh, for, with Red Rail where I'm still working now and then I uh I started on site when I had just turned 18. I just turned 18. I just, I think a couple of months before I turned 18, I started as a level one apprentice, you know, uh, your first year apprentice. So before I'd even stepped foot on a building site, I'd already, I already did a little, a little uh, bricked up a couple of windows in my dad's garage. I'd already done a bit of a private job myself, even though I'd not been to, been on site technically, I've only been to college. So I'd already been sort of had a trial in my hand sort of looking at Brick Lane. I was looking, watching Brick Lane videos even back then, trying to figure out how to do stuff. And there was nothing on YouTube. There was absolutely nothing back uh, in 2010. There was fucking nothing on YouTube at all. Even that's why I was looking at Brick Lane videos, fucking, and, and there was nothing. You'd put Brick Lane into YouTube and you'd see, fucking hell, you'd see an odd person laying a couple of soldiers over a window. That was it. So it was, it was, fant- it was fascinating, really. And then... From from the first year, I earned 150 pound a week. Second year, I got 200 pound a week, and then from my third year, I getting 250 pound a week, and uh, that was you know I thought it was fucking great. You know, my third year I was I was 20, so if I started at 80, I was 21, coming up to 21, and I was thinking, oh god, yes, yeah, you know, I'm getting 250 thousand pound a month in my bank, and I thought oh, I'm doing pretty good. You know, it's like better than most about same as minimum wage jobs. And then uh, I came out with time, and I worked with a, worked with a bricklayer, a bricklayer in a, in a labourer, and and I was in about five hundred quid a week for, for uh, when I was fresh out of my time after about three, uh, after th- three years on site. So it's coming into my fourth year on site, but I'd already, but I'd been sort of laying bricks for seven years at that point. So even after my apprenticeship, I'd st- I'd been sort of learning how to bricklay for six years even after i'd finished so i'd done six years with a trial in my hand already and then and then about into my seventh year bricklaying i thought i'd be working with this gang for a bit earning 500 pound a week sometimes 600 in a week i thought this is fucking no good i'm fucking you know i was 22 coming on 20 yeah i was 22 then uh no 21 21 slash 22 i can't remember and then I went out on my own, and I've been out. I've been on my own ever since. I, I turned 26 next year. Uh, sorry, 26 next month. Sorry, should I say? And then I've been working on my own. Then from 20, 21 slash 22, I've been working on my own about four or five years. So I went one on one then, uh, and I tried working with a bricklayer multiple times. Never really worked. Tried working in like a two on one gang. Didn't work. Tried working in a three and one, didn't really work. Sort of trial and error it uh, for the last, for like three years after that. So after I'd been sort of four years on site, I trial and error it for like three years. So I got nowhere. And then uh, last two years, my dad's worked with me, a bit over two years now. Um, it's been great. And I did, in, within that time, I did about a year on my own, uh, solo, about six to eight months on my own. It were, it were hard going. So yeah and from basically coming out here from coming out of my time and going on my own from so i'd been already seven years laying bricks now i was probably averaging about six or seven hundred pound a week after laying after la- learning to lay bricks for seven years so and then on my eighth year probably closer to 800 ninth year that was when my dad first started working with me and then i started about a thousand pound a week on good on on a, on a week where I worked five days, thousand pound a week, and then when it got to now now I've been laying, me I'm into my eleventh year now, probably touched fifteen touched fifteen hundred a couple of times, but not I've never really put uh, I've never really, really had enough work in front of me to sort of go beyond that, and I sort of fatigue a lot. I get to the point where. 
if I've earned that much money, I don't ever work too late on a Friday or I never work Saturdays. So probably if I work Saturdays, I could probably make probably on a really super week if I had the right work in front of me and I had enough work in front of me, maybe 1700 if I really put a Saturday, if I put a big hard Saturday in and I really cracked on for a week, but I tend to toss it off, to, to be honest, in a sense. I tend to do less work on Monday, Tuesday, and I start to sort of ramp up my my, my, my uh my momentum through the week when it gets to Wednesday and then I'm really into my stride Wednesday and then Thursday I'm sort of at my peak and then Friday I'm just fucking cruising then. Uh, if I ever did do a Saturday you could add potential earnings of you know s- s- you know 1500 plus should I say but that's only with the right amount of work in front of you like I'd have to build one of these I'd have to build this wall and then have a garage right next to it to build straight away afterwards or vice versa so build the garage all the way around and then I'd have to have a big stretch of wall like this to go at and have it loaded up ready and probably work Saturday so that's sort of that's sort of what you can expect to earn but you just have to really graft for it you know you're not going to make loads and loads of money working in gangs um, of any bigger than two or three probably two you know if you're working with, working with another bricklayer you're probably you're basically there uh, you don't want to be going any bigger than that because you're not going to earn any more money it's just going to be more hassle so uh, that's sort of my honest, you know, my honest take on it. You know, it's just what you know what I've, you know, uh, personally in the la- in the in the span of learning to lay bricks for the last ten to ten to eleven years. Uh, it takes fucking loads and loads of time. It takes at the end of the day, if you'd have been in in a job for ten or eleven years, you'd have been pr- pretty high up by this time. So, you know, you could probably make more money in other professions uh, if you're all if you're all, if you're bothered about making money. Brit Lane probably isn't the way to go, but it's stress-free and you're rewarded with how good you get at your craft. So um, there's there's potential to earn more than that. Definitely, if you've got a few apprentices with you, you can you know, and they're you know laying 200, 300 bricks a day, and you're only paying them 60, 60 pound a day or something like that. You know, two fifty, three hundred a week, and they're easily earning the money laying bricks to a line and you've got loads and loads of work in front of you you can make loads of money out, out of out of you know being a sort of ganger like that but that's not sort of truly coming from yourself but working one on one you know there's definitely you know there's definitely potential to lay a thousand bricks a day uh, with when you're on the right work and you've got the right odd carrier and you are probably a lot probably a, a good five or six years more experience than I've got so you know, I'm I'm in my in my eleventh year, uh, next month, and you know, probably if you doubled the amount of experience I had, I've got now, should should I say, you could probably you know earn even more, probably two thousand plus two and a half thousand a week, depending if if you if you just you've got to just keep progressing there, you're going to keep getting faster and keep you know keep the work flowing, and it all depends on sort of what the site's like. You know, if you can, if you can just build it quick enough, build it quick enough into a good standard. But it takes years and years and years. So, the thing is, is the only thing I'd say about brick laying is, you know, if the prices don't drop, which is, is always a possibility, you've always got that potential to earn money every week if you've got the skill and you'll not lose it. So once you've, you know, once you've earned, you know, fifteen hundred pound in a week, you know, you've got the skill to do it again. You just have to make sure you're willing to work for it. So. You know, there's there's definitely it's definitely situational, and you'll never you'll not earn the same every week, never. So, and sometimes it might be just as hard to earn that thousand as it was to earn that twelve or that thirteen or that fourteen hundred in a week that you were that you're chasing, but it all depends on the type of work you're doing, you know, and it just depends on what site you're on as well. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, there's definitely when it comes to winter as well, you can sort of slice your earnings in half in a way on average because you're going to be working less i remember in winter especially when we've had bad ones my average goes down to about three and a half days a week uh luckily uh you know i've, I've brought a lot of new working practices in the way into the way i work in this last year so you know it probably won't hit hit my wages as bad this year but you know definitely if the work tightens up or you you know you're, you're stuck on a really bad site with bad materials and stuff it can really murder your money and you know you can be sometimes you know be be grateful to go on with you know six seven hundred quid eight hundred quid in the winter months uh and you you can't you know you've got to just 
get the get the ideas of 12 13 14 1500 out of your head if 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 the weather isn't allowing you to work that long so it all comes down to hours at the end of the day if you're willing to put in the hours and graft you know you can the learning potentials kind of you know it's uncapped you know if you if you're willing to work every saturday and you're willing to work even sundays as well if you're willing to work seven days a week you know the the earning potential is massive but it just you can only do it for so long you will burn out you know you you have to pace yourself and that's all i can say uh for any young guys coming into it or you know even guys who are wanting to get back into it after years years off or going into a different job you know there's there's money to be made but you've just got to make sure you know you just got to make sure you know what you're doing and you know you keep progressing keep getting better and then you know you'll keep earning more and more money so anyway guys thanks for watching i will uh see you in tomorrow's video have a good one leave a like subscribe and uh hit the notification bell see you later